I'm waiting for this pizza. Yeah, good stuff, ain't it? Mm -hmm. All right, can I have a seat, please? For sure. Uh, Help yourself if you want some pizza. Oh, uh, that doesn't look too healthy to me. No, it's got tomatoes on it. Uh, cooked tomatoes are not nutritional. You destroy the nutrients by heating it. Oh, I thought tomatoes were... Mm. Well, we got a lot of oil out here. You, you like pastrami, don't you? Well, that is mostly recycled uh, rancid milk they use to make that cheese. Mm. So what about the mushrooms? The, the mushroom, mushroom, no, you shouldn't cook the mushroom. It makes the minerals in it too coarse to digest. Pizza sauce? I don't think that's the right food combination, mixing milk with meat, meat with a fruit. You shouldn't mix fruits with starches anyway. You got a fruit with a starch, which you call in tomato. So that's going to cause some digestive problems. And the cheese is going to cause constipation, plus it's recycled rancid milk anyway. Well, what about the pepperoni? Well, the pepperoni was probably dried by, by sulfur, which is going to cause your bones to get brittle. All right. Now, wait a this is one of the biggest companies in town, one of the best pizza companies in the city. And? And you're trying to tell me this is garbage we eat here? Well, it's mostly a ceremony. It's not really nutrition. You're just going through a ceremony where you're putting something in your mouth. You really shouldn't mix the cheese with the meat and the meat with the starch and the starch with the fruit. It's going to cause constipation and probably lead into some arthritis and infertility, hair loss, and but things like that. Hungry, brother. You don't have natural hunger. You have hunger created by the television commercials you've been watching. Well, I'm going to have this oh. KFC then. Right. If the pizza's not good for me, then I'll have the chicken and coleslaw. Coleslaw is good, coleslaw right? Coleslaw with vinegar. Vinegar is a poison known as acidic acid. I don't think you should eat a poison. It doesn't make sense. Mashed potatoes, though? Those mashed are good. potatoes, uh, those are not fresh potatoes because the powder would have turned black. So actually they bleached it so it would stay white and then they added sugar on it to make you want it to eat it. They bleach my potatoes? Yeah, they bleach it white and add sugar to it. Okay, what about the chicken? Uh, dead meat, rancid meat. When they cook it, it the flesh turns into fermented, putrefied waste and the liquid coming out of it is cooked pus. And then you put starch with it, which is flour, which is going to cause constipation. Right. They can't inspect chicken in less than three seconds. They can't, can't expect any corpse in that less of time, so it's filled with worms anyway and parasites. They probably irritate your skin, make you feel hungry, and the worm's going to crawl around in your prostate, and then you're going to think you're sexy or aroused, when it's actually the worms. Okay, what, what do you think I should try to eat then? Oh, I have to brought an apple with me. I wonder why you just can't wait, eat the food wait, the way wait. it is. This is the way God made it, just the way God made it. So it's not going to, it's going to keep me the way God made me. That has been denatured, processed, killed. More than likely it's going to process you and cause you to be killed. <laughs> well, you certainly, you got, we can certainly have a Coke here. Now, you can't have any complaint about that, sir. Coke is made carbonated. You know, like you breathe out carbon dioxide and it's made with carbon monoxide and your body's trying to get rid of carbon dioxide and then you're drinking it? Well, but it says it's okay on television. Well, it's robbing your brain of oxygen so you can't think well anyway, so you probably doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Plus it's liquid sugar, which is going to probably lead into diabetes and kidney failure and blindness. Is there a lot of sugar in this? Yes, you, you're eating at least 15 teaspoons of sugar. So if I have a dinner with vegetables and then fruit on my plate, is that going to be okay? Or? Mm, no, that's not okay. You, you're mostly eating for ceremonial reasons, and you're not e eating for nutrition. No animal combines fruit with uh, vegetables, as you call it. So eat them one at a time? You eat the fruit with the fruit. You eat sweet fruit with sweet fruit, and you eat greens with greens. You don't mix them together. They don't even grow together in nature. You're putting things together that don't grow together. But don't you think people will think I'm weird if I'm out to eat and I eat only vegetables or only fruit? Or? Well, more than likely you're eating with people that are addicted to this food. You're eating with food junkies. So you're eating around a bunch of food addicted people. So naturally, addicts together think they're all healthy. But actually, you're sick because there's nitrites in there. That causes what they call mad cow disease. So now you're going to be a little psychotic. <laughs> I've heard of that. Yeah, you'll be psychotic, but then your friends are half crazy anyway, so that y'all probably wouldn't notice it. So we spent all this money on this food for nothing. Well, that's not called food. It's called junk food. 
Junk food well, is a junk partial food. food. I still spent my money on it. You've spent your whole dollar to buy partial food. That doesn't make sense. Well, I tell you, just for the, just because we spent our money, I'm about just helping us have some of it this time, and the next time around, we'll try to get healthier stuff. Well, see, the Greeks shaped this food like it is, so that's that's symbolic of the you know vagina. That's right. a menstruating vagina with semen on it. That's the symbolism of it. Is that right? Yeah. I'm never gonna be able to eat pizza again. <laughs> Well, thank you. I, I've learned a lot. I, I'm glad I didn't go ahead and eat that. Yeah, so am I. Well, I'm happy well, for you, too. So why don't you go somewhere else and well, somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess that's a wrap. All right. Go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, if you don't know anything different, then that's what you do. But it doesn't mean that I'm ignorant because I ate it. So like it. you're controlled by your ignorance. No, I'm controlled because I'm hungry. And, and I'm you're like hungry it. because? Well, it's natural to eat. Oh, it? so let us say this is natural to eat. Mm -hmm. So if I gave a, a six-month-old baby or one-year-old child a burger or some alcohol or a cigarette, they wouldn't eat it. They would not eat it. They would, they would say the alcohol burns. They would say the smoke mm -hmm. burns. You can't force a child to eat something that's not unnatural. That's right, but a child doesn't know that a hamburger is unnatural. Right, because they would, weren't taught to eat the hamburger. Right. You're eating what you were trained to eat, right. like a trained horse. You right. give them a block of sugar and they run around the track. So you're eating like a trained horse. But it is too late for me now. It's only too late when you're dead. Yeah. But I'm going to die at some time in my life, whether I eat good or don't eat good, right? The cow didn't say that. No, he didn't have to say that, but God said that. He, everybody has to die. Okay. So, and so? I enjoy this. You know you talk like a food addict. You're addicted to food. Yes. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? No, I'm happy. Just like an addict. As long as you can get your drug with all those chemicals and right. steroids and estrogen and nitrites in it, you're happy. Yes. You need therapy. Probably. Yeah. But I think people that don't eat anything also need therapy. Eat. This is not anything? No, not to me. I mean, a bird wouldn't eat that. And be full. You mean I'm stupid for eating this apple? Yes. And if that's all you eat, yes. Well, I was planning on eating maybe oh. another apple. Oh, I see. So I'm see. twice as stupid? Sure. I have bologna. You can have some of my bologna. Yeah, I eat this bologna. Get some fries. B-O-L-O-G-N-A. This, this, this is made from the scrap meat that's on the slaughterhouse floor. They have a machine that separates it. So this is pork and chicken and beef all mixed together. Plus it's spoiled. But it's all one color. Right. That's because they put dye in it. They dye this rotten meat. It's actually green. Then they put perfume in it so it make it smell fresh. That's what you got. That's what you call a burger. First, it's not even ham. So why are they calling it a burger? A hamburger. You're going to make me sick. I'm not going to make you sick. I'm making you happy. No, you're not. Yes, I am. See, this is symbolic here. Don't you understand the symbolism? I don't want to touch that with my hands. You, you See that? That's a fried potato. Yes. So it's going to stay in your body too long. Mm -hmm. And it's going to cause constipation. And it's caused fermentation. Then you can get funky arms because the fumes be coming out through your arms. Then your feet's going to stink because all that's rotten and stinking in your body. So the fumes are going to come out your body. You're going to need deodorant soap after a while. But you need it anyway. No, you don't. Yes, you do need deodorant. You do. You do too. Everybody you're, does. Because you're eating rotten food. The natural deodorant is chlorophyll. If you eat chlorophyll, you wouldn't need the deodorant. Chlorophyll is a natural deodorant. And where do, you, where do you put chlorophyll? In your mouth. You mean to tell me you don't use any deodorant? It's chlorophyll that I use. Chlorophyll. Where do you get chlorophyll from? Fresh, green, leafy vegetables. Romaine lettuce, spinach. Eating it raw, you get the chlorophyll. It's a natural deodorant. Now, don't you feel better? That is a greasy French fry. It's, yes. not a, it's not fried anyway. It's boiled in oil. It's totally boiled in oil. And your body can't get to the potato because oil is around it. So you're creating a schizophrenic in your digestive system. Is it okay to eat potatoes? How should you cook them? You don't have to cook potatoes in the first place. What? It's, you don't have to cook potatoes. You don't have to cook tomatoes. You don't have to cook apples. You don't have to cook these Wait things. Wait a minute. You trying to tell me we have to eat a raw potato? It would be it's, better if you ate a raw potato. It's nasty. See, like a I was telling you, potato. a raw mm -hmm. potato is nasty. You've been trained to eat nasty. You like nasty. Yep, I do. I so I, what I'm telling you is that is a French fry. It's boiled in oil. It's not even fried. It's boiled in oil. That's you call in a hamburger. It's not even ham. Isn't there something wrong with this? See, you're addicted. 
wrong with your philosophy, not mine. You're addicted. You're talking like an addict. You're supporting your addiction. Yeah. Hmm. I do something in life. I've been so, eating this all my life. And? And I like it. Tastes because good. you were trained to eat it right. all your life. But I don't like apples that well. Mm -mm. I mean, I don't want to eat it every day. But you would eat french fries every day? No, I don't like french fries that well either. I eat them every now and then, like I would an apple. But you wouldn't eat a hamburger every day either. You no, eat that I, don't, I don't care that what, much. What do you eat natural every what day? What do we eat? I don't know if it's natural, but I eat potatoes. Uh, raw? Nope. I eat rice. I eat chicken. What, what kind of rice? Brown rice? No, wild I rice? I don't like brown rice. You don't like natural rice? I like white rice. You like rice yes. that's been made in a factory? Yes. yes. I eat wild rice sometimes, but I don't want it every day. I like that white rice. That french fry has been bleached white. Yeah. You notice they never turn black at McDonald's? But Michael Jackson was bleached white. But the french you. fries don't sing. Let's keep you on the french fries. That's been bleached white. <laughs> okay. Plus they spray sugar on it. I love sugar. That's why you're addicted to the french fries. Right. And they put sugar in the meat and the sugar in the bread and the sugar in the cheese. And that's what makes it good. If it was raw, it wouldn't be good, would it? No. This is really sad. It is. You're addicted to sugar. Yes, I am. You're a sugar drunkard. Yes. Don't you think you need to go and detox? No. No. Why don't you just try it? Let, let's just try I it. I can't go a day without sugar. You can't go a day without no. sugar? Let, let's just try it. Just, just pretend that you can take something to help get rid of your craving for sugar. Would you try it? No, because I like sweet stuff. Sweet stuff reminds you of love because you got sweet stuff on your birthday, right? Yes. You got sweet stuff in Christmas and when you do something nice in school, they give you sweet stuff. So maybe what you're missing is the love you associate with the sugar. Yeah. Maybe you have an emotional problem. Maybe. So you're looking for sugar to satisfy no, your, I don't. your love. No, I don't. So why are you I eating? I eat sweet stuff because I'm I like addicted it. to sweet I stuff. I like it just like you like that apple. I like sweet stuff. You're going to compare an apple with some yeah, white sugar? Yeah, because an apple is nasty. It's not it's good. It's the color you don't like? No. It was black but it doesn't it? do anything for you. It, not for me. Well, it it doesn't. worked for Eve quite well. Well, that was Eve, <laughs> see. That was Eve. So you're going to eat this recycled meat. Yes. Scraps from the slaughterhouse Yes. Floor. Then you're going to eat a boiled in oil potato. Yes. Then you're going to eat that lettuce, which is symbolic of putting lettuce over Eve's vagina. Oh. And Adam's penis. So it's sexy right there. There's something freaky about this. Mm -mm. It is. Because you never see it. How can you come up with all this stuff? Because I know who made the food. The Greeks how did this. How do you know everything? Well, don't know I don't everything. know everything. I only know about say food. say things that like people want I to eat. I only know about food. I only know about food. I don't know everything. No. All right. so I'm trying to help you eat better. Oh. I want you to eat this okay. nasty apple. I don't want to. How about a green apple? No. How about a yellow apple? No. How about a banana? I don't eat a banana. White? It's not white. Yellow? It's a yellow. Black? No, I don't want a black banana. That's when it's ripe. That's when you're supposed to eat it. That's when it has potassium in it. What is it that you eat that's ripe? What do you eat that's ripe? I eat the apple. But it's not good. How can you just eat stuff just because? You have to have something that's good for you that you I like. Eat to live, to nourish my body. Well, I eat I'm for eating because I'm old and I'm going to die anyway. And I eat what I like because that's what I want to do. You're eating because it satisfies uh, your taste. No, yeah. You said it tastes good. You it never does said taste nutrition. Good. I'm talking about nutrition. But You're I, talking about taste. I'm not worried about nutrition at this stage of my life. I'm people, really not. People eat for nutrition. No, well, I don't. I eat because I like it. It's good. tastes good. Mm -hmm. does me well. I feel yeah. so happy when See I See that? We're back to your emotions again. Mm -hmm. Because no, no, it makes you feel good. And it tastes good. No, no, no. We eat for nutrition. We eat to nourish you our body. You eat for nutrition. You I eat because it tastes I good. I eat because I like it. I want it. I need it. Oh, my And gosh. I'm going to eat it. Oh, my gosh. I'm Sound like you would it. kill for this stuff. Probably would. If I was hungry enough. Is there any fruit that tastes kind of sweet or that tastes no. like sugar if you wanted to? No. Yes, no. there's quite a few 
fruit, says grapes, says white grapes, says red grapes, says bananas, says grapes, apricots, says that, avocados. That's says, not what I want all the time, grapes. I like them, but I want other things. I'm says okay. onions taste sweet, broccoli tastes sweet, cauliflower like broccoli. tastes sweet. I love broccoli. Raw. I no, thought sugar came from cane, though. I thought, so cane's natural, right? Uh, cane is natural, but uh, the plants live on the sugar that they make. This, when you eat meat, it turns in, your body makes it into a sugar. And then mm -hmm. after it reaches a certain level of sugar, it turns it into fat. So you can get overweight from eating meat. You can get overweight from eating starch. You can get overweight because your body makes a, its own sugar. And that's what causes people to be overweight. They think eating a low-carb bread will solve the problem, but it's the meat that will put on fat. Because you can't oh, okay. taste it without oil in it. So they've got to put oil in the bread so you can taste it. Oil is what you ha need to make the food taste like something. Like vegetable oil? Like Vest vegetable oil that's in the plant itself. That's what gives it a taste. But okay. this food has been perfumed and deodorized to smell like food and to look like food, but it's not food. It's cooked and the minerals are too hard and your body can't break them down. And since they use the oil, we call that a trance oil. It's a type of oil that's heated above 112, so the body can't break down the oil, so it turns it into waste and clogs up the veins and arteries and causes bypasses and all that sort of thing. So the only person a person can say in defense of eating it is it tastes good. Well, I thought the government was like looking out for what's good for you and what's not. The but government is ruled by money. And the meat industry and the sugar industry are powerful. And they basically manipulate the Food and Drug Administration to pass laws. So that's why they don't list the ingredients in the french fries on the label. They don't list the ingredients of ice cream on the label. They don't list the ingredients in chewing gum on the label because the Food and Drug Administration is manipulated to do these things. And that keeps people ignorant. So she doesn't know what's in the food she's eating. Well, you used to eat it at some point in your life. You ate it. You were a kid. You ate what your mother gave you, right? Yes. Okay, so you ate the same thing I And ate. at a certain point, my mother sent me to school so I can learn things, and I mm -hmm. learned better. And so I started eating better. That's why she sent me to school, I so I see. could learn. Okay, but if she gave you this in the first place, then she wasn't doing right either, because she gave it to you until you learned, until you went to That's school. I learned so that better. means she was ignorant, right? That's correct. Okay. And I she died of diabetes. Yeah, that's my, what I'm going to die of. My mother you know. died of diabetes, high blood pressure. She had cataracts, glaucoma, and hemorrhoids. Mm -hmm. My mother. And she mm -hmm. said she wished she had started over with eating the right way. And she was a nurse. Mm -hmm. And she told me these things. So I'm telling you these things. Okay. You, if you don't want to eat right for yourself, just eat right so the children can see it's another way to eat. Do something that's greater well, than I yourself. Think you should, if you want to do that, start with the small children. I'm too old now. But Doesn't they can look to I you. Eat. You're the elder and they'll look no, to you they for look wisdom. To me, they're going to be eating cake, ice cream, cookies, donuts, mashed potatoes and gravy, fried chicken. Fried dead chicken. Fried dead chicken. Because mm. you, you don't know what happened to the broccoli. It grows out there. Dogs pee on it. Cats, everything. And you still eat it? You think that's good? Well... Fish swim in pee and bowel movement right. too. And they eat slop and worms and pee. Everybody talks about fish. But, fish is so good for you. But then you're eating the fish that ate the worms well, and the slop. So you're eating the same thing they ate. Right. But I ain't around telling people not to eat anything either. I don't care what somebody else eats. But you are, you are elder and you're supposed to pass on wisdom yeah, to the I children. Pass on wisdom. Get a job. Work hard. Go to school. And eat hamburgers. Do the right and french thing. Fries. Don't steal. Don't break in nobody's house. That's all I'm going to teach you. And eat french fries and yeah, hamburgers. Yeah, they want them. So you're teaching wisdom and ignorance at the same yeah, time. Yeah, probably. I don't think you should do that. Probably. If you well, know better, all mine teach. are grown and they're doing pretty well. So I did my job. The people coming up now, the grandkids got to do their job. So I'm not responsible for that. Are you going to help them with some more information? No, Out of the I'm love in your they heart. can eat apple and stuff. And you just tell them they can eat, eat broccoli. It. I, but I, I'm going to have some good stuff in my house. Don't you, don't you think a pitch is worth a thousand words? Sometimes. So if they things. see you doing something, you remember they call it modeling behavior? You, they want a road model. So they want to model they got this Bob. thing. They got Gwen. Bob. They got Gwen. But they got you. No, they don't. Don't pass mm -hmm. the buck. You're responsible. I am going to pass the buck. I've already done what I'm supposed to do for my children and my grandchildren. It's and not over until it's over. Oh, 
it's not over yet. But it's over for me. No, it's, it's not. my time. As long now. as you're opening your mouth, mm -hmm. it's not over. And I'm going to keep on opening up this mouth because I like it. Because you like the way it tastes. That's right. And I'm trying to get more mileage out of you. Well, I I'm going to put high octane gas in you. I already had the high octane now gas. Now you're going lead and now. now I'm going you got diesel. all that in now. I'm going diesel now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm going to take the first step to recovery, and I'm going to admit that I have a problem, and I'm not going to eat this bologna. Thank you. Well, that's so nice of you. Well, I got a problem, I'm glad too, but I'm going to keep right on eating this. But you keep on encouraging him. Okay, you just keep right on eating apple. Well, I want you to eat good, too, because now, I want you to be around. I am going to eat good. I'm going right. to eat good. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It was nice yeah. having this. Yes. Um, well, can we call this a conversation? I don't know. Well, that's a bit of a stretch, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah. So now have some French fries. Have an apple. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, more.